Hi, I'm Eric. I'm one of the engineers here at Pure Storage, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking to you about Direct Flash. I'll start by making a drawing of an SSD. An SSD is built up from flash dies, and each die is broken down into a large number of flash blocks. Now, a flash block doesn't support random overwrites. Once it's written with data, the entire block needs to be erased before new data can be written in. However, every SSD is built to support a backwards compatible disk sector interface. Now this contradiction is resolved by having something in firmware that we call the flash translation layer. The flash translation layer implements a virtual disk sector interface, allowing us to write data to different flash blocks, no matter what sector it was intended for. Now, because we're writing data into all these different flash blocks, eventually we accumulate data in those blocks which is garbage because the data has been overwritten or has been trimmed. And so we need a garbage collector in the firmware that takes that data and moves it to new locations. Read data from here, write data over to there. Now this starts to have a bunch of implications for how the SSD behaves. First of all, for the garbage collector to be efficient, we need to have a significant amount of extra flash for the GC to work in, and we call this over-provisioning. In addition, we also have an increase in the number of flash program array cycles that are used because each time GC has to move data, that's adding to the total number of writes, and we call this write amplification. And that leads to premature wear and shortened lifespan of the SSD. In addition, there are performance impacts of this design. Every time one of these flash dies is doing a garbage collection read or write, that entire die is unavailable for writes from the host, and that means that performance can go down. But as the GC becomes more and less active, performance can go up and down, and it's very hard to predict from one day to the next what kind of performance you can get out of this SSD. I'll also speak a little bit about NVMe. If we were to build an array using the best of today's technology, NVMe should be right at the top of the list because it's a very high performance, low latency, uh, way of moving data. Now, in the modern world, SSDs are getting larger and larger. And that means that just to keep the same performance, we need to be able to allow more and more I.O. to flow in parallel to all these different flash dies. NVMe is great for this because it allows you to set up an arbitrary number of I.O. queues. It's also true that CPUs are becoming more and more multi-core. So these NVMe queues allow us to have parallelism within our software for issuing all of those IOs. So now we get to direct flash. Within Purity, we have never supported disks. Purity was always built to run on flash, which means our IO patterns are very flash friendly. In particular, Purity writes data in what we call segments, which are large pieces of data that are never uh, modified in place. And so if we map purity segments to flash blocks, that means that we don't need this FTL design at all. We also don't need the garbage collection at the flash module level. This starts to have really good benefits. First of all, that over-provisioning we had over here isn't necessary, and that means that we get more flash to store data in. It also means that we can get rid of the write amplification, which means that the module lifespan can be increased. And when it comes to performance, we have two great effects. Because we don't have this GC, we don't have inconsistent uh, write latencies and read latencies, but we also have Purity be able to see exactly where every piece of data is stored, which means it can do perfect scheduling of the I.O. This allows us to have near deterministic latency. We also have flash block level telemetry, which means that Pier 1 can see flash problems before they become array level issues. We built direct flash to allow us to continue to innovate into the future. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.